graduates. This is just a copy of your diploma, so don't worry. It, you'll get it when you check out. But <laughs> sorry, I don't want you to let anything in for that. Don't want you to freak out. So I also thought I'd take this opportunity to let you know that that's cheesecake. <laughs> so if you were wondering why you deserve it, um, so I get to start the next portion of this evening, and the chiefs have been very clear to us that we should be time, take just a short amount of time, and I'm happy about that. <laughs> so I am only going to talk about one person, but I would love to have been able to talk about everyone. I am in a unique, um, I probably, I think I'm the only one here that was a chief resident when these were interns. And as all the residents and doctors that have graduated, you develop a very close relationship, the chief, re chief residents with their interns. So this class is very special to me, and I'm really glad to see all of you go. But I'm going to talk about Jacob. So... I feel very privileged and honored that Jacob asked me to talk about him. In fact, I'm a little intimidated because he's so wonderful that I hope I can portray how great and how great he has been. Um, so I'll try to do it in a succinct way. Um, one of our other beloved past residents was here visiting this week, as you all um, remember Sarah Zard, and she heard that I was presenting Jacob, and she said, oh, no problem, just get up there and just start singing Solid as a Rock, <laughs> and I won't do that, but <laughs> it's very fitting for him. Um, Jacob is a unique individual who had numerous accomplishments before he even came to, um, to us in Utah, but I'm just going to focus on what he has done while he's been here. I feel lucky to have gotten to know him, as I said, um, as both as a chief resident and um, as an attending. Um, when he came as an intern, we were all extremely impressed. He started off just amazingly, um, and he excelled right from the beginning. Then, as I transitioned into becoming an attending, I continued to be impressed at his unique ability to do everything well but always to remain humble. And tonight, that was emphasized even further when Natalie told me that he was talking. To, she was talking to his father, and his father said, did he really do an okay job? Because we didn't hear anything about it. And Natalie was saying, oh, you guys must be so tired of everyone saying how great he is. So um, that just speaks to Jacob. He would never, ever toot his own horn, but he is really into me amazing individual. Um, he really is the doctor and the person that we all should aspire to be. The residents joke during the roast that he is the golden boy, but he really puts in the time. He works hard. He always is unassuming and just does his job. If you were to ask patients, what are the qualities that you look for in a doctor? Jacob has them all. He is professional, open, honest, intelligent, gentle, makes people feel at ease, listens well, always composed, technically skilled, kind, caring, and much, much more. <clears throat> Patients, nurses, other residents, attendings, and everyone else with whom he inter interacts respect him highly. As a chief, he has showed that he's a selfless leader that is always looking out for the greater good he is an excellent teacher as well. Something that has always struck me is his ability to be innovative. He will evaluate a situation or a system and figure out a way to make it more efficient without losing the quality. As we all, all of us that are um, in the department know, he gave his grand rounds last year for which he won his award on the C-section and the different ways of doing the C-section and many of us have adopted the ways in which he recommended. So he not only evaluated the situation, but he effected change, and we all will remember him for that. And I wouldn't be surprised if he goes out into private practice and soon we hear about a novel way to do a hysterectomy. 
So I have great hopes and aspirations for you, Jacob. I also got to see Jacob in a different situation as a dad and a husband because I got lucky enough to deliver Kate, their third child. Throughout the whole process, I was thoroughly impressed. He was always a husband and a dad and left the doctor part out. What I saw was a supportive husband and a loving dad. I guess also I have to say that Abby is pretty amazing as well, and that speaks highly of Jacob, that he can have such a wonderful wife. So we will miss Jacob a lot. Um, I'm happy that he's moving to Vancouver, Washington, but I think he'll miss us. And as many people that leave, I can assure you, you will want to come back. <laughs> but he is such a wonderful person, and he's such a happy person, that I know he'll be happy wherever he goes. I am proud that we are graduating such a high-quality position, and the community in Vancouver is lucky to have him. three to five minutes, I have so much that I want to say and people to thank. Um, the, so I want to thank some groups of people rather than specifics. Um, to our attendings, specifically I want to thank you for working on patients, going through the insurance process, doing everything so that Sunday nights we could just look at the OR schedule and see what we get to do for that week. The chance to operate as a resident is absolutely amazing. Four years ago, I sat at a table over here and thought, tomorrow I start residency, someone's going to hand me a knife to operate. I don't know if I'm going to pass out, throw up, shake too much to do the surgery. And over the past four years with coaching and encouragement and teaching, um, I very quickly came to realize that there are a few places I'd rather be than in the OR. So thank you for all that teaching. Um, to my five wonderful classmates that I've had a chance to work with. Um, I don't know why this stands out so much, but our intern year, during our orientation week, we, they told us we had to buy our white coats, and so we all walked down to that window in the basement, and we tried on our white coats, and I hate shopping. Abby <laughs> shops for all of my clothes, and just brings them home. Um, and so even buying like a white coat by myself, I hate doing. Um, but we picked it up, and I tried on this coat, and I turned around, and there in front of me were all of my classmates buttoning my button, adjusting the collar, like telling me to turn around to see if it looked right. And I think that stood out because at that moment I was impressed with these bright, strong, wonderful women that I've had a chance to work with. Um, we've had a great, coherent class, and I'll miss all of you. Um, to my parents, who have always been super encouraging and love to listen to stories and are always excited about what I'm doing, thank you for being here as well. Um, also for three wonderful little kids that can't be here that have had more put on them in the last four years than they should ever have to do. Um, they, the two oldest ones love to trade stories about the funniest places that they've seen me fall asleep. <laughs> and I think Ben, our almost eight-year-old, definitely takes the cake of me falling asleep sitting on the edge of the bathtub brushing his teeth. <laughs> I hope that our future brings a slightly more involved and slightly more awake dad for them. <laughs> and last of all, and most importantly to my wonderful wife, Abby, um, 11 years ago, about this time, um, before we were married, we were in Seattle, we went to Pike's Place Market, we walked down to the water, we sat down, and I talked about that I thought I wanted to go to medical school. Um, and years later, several years later, I was taking the MCAT, I had my lunch, and I opened it up, and there was a napkin from her with something written on it about, good luck on the second half, you're going to do great. Um, she has been there the entire time, third year of med school, when I said, I think I want to be an OBGYN. She just smiled, 
and she's always been encouraging. She didn't leave me then, she hasn't left me after that. Um, she's raised three wonderful kids off and on her own without me, and I literally could not have done this without her, and I love her very much.